Yo, 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 what's up, mohos? It's your boy, Big H Dog. Uh, I'm coming in with lightning speed in this one. No apologies, about two weeks late. I like to make a movie review on most things I'll go to the cinema and see. I, I enjoy watching them. So I went to go see Godzilla Manos 1. Racist, I know, but it was actually really good. Now, I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. I'm a simple man with a simple brain, a very simpleton, as uh, I used to get caught in school. Uh, sad times. One thing I don't like doing is watching foreign films. Now, it's not because I'm racist, although, that might be 50% of it but it runs in the genes alright it's not my fault but simply because you just don't always know what's going on the translations are always a bit funny especially with Asian films you know that it doesn't quite mean what they're written out because it comes off a bit corny sometimes however this was a real exception the speaking the characterization the conversations you feel for these characters now I'm gonna try and say the main names but I'm gonna say them wrong so I'm almost tempted not to, but I think it will kind of be funny. So the main bloke, uh, Kochi Shikishima and Noriko, them two together are just incredible. I love their relationship. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but the ending is just great. When you think one thing's gone on, another thing's gone on, and it's actually a happy story, which I really appreciate. It doesn't all have to be doom and gloom. Now, at the actual main guy in the title, Godzilla, though, he is just incredible. Now, this film had a budget of, I believe, um, 15 million United States dollars. USD and it does look really good I mean there's a few moments but because the story is so good you're not drawn away you're not pulled away like you know in modern Marvel films when it looks like shit but the story's shit so you pick up on it it's not like that because you go well this is a slightly smaller budget now Godzilla in this one uh, this might be a slight spoiler but it's not really is a is basically he is a bad guy um I mean I thought they were going to go down the typical route of Godzilla starts bad they realize if we don't attack him he doesn't attack us someone else comes along and uh, he defeats him that's not the case at all uh, it's much more exciting and much more more interest in that grand finale is almost a battle between humans and him and it, it, it's just great uh, the ending like I mentioned was just honestly not what I was expecting to actually feel emotional at the end of a film but I didn't know what they were even saying and I was reading subtitles it was just perfectly done honestly by the end I was like holy shit what's just gone on there you know there's this sort of like hidden love between uh, the main two but they don't say anything until it's almost too late and then you think it's too late and then by the end of it you realize it's not too late oh it's just perfect in terms of that I want to go into the actual Japanese kamikaze stuff that was just something I didn't quite expect to see at such a high extent they really lent into this thing of honor the people around him uh, you know his whole family dies basically he comes back where he should have died and he feels guilty and by the end of it he wants to put things right for a matter of words really and put things how it should have ended which was him in death now again I'm not going to spoil anything but it doesn't go down the typical of he's going to die he must do this to uh, get out to do it right and put back his past and his wrongs it's and I uh, you know it's not like that but one thing I, I loved as well you can really see sort of the downtrodden Japanese and how it, it takes place over sort of like five six years probably I can't remember and it starts off that Japan and where they are is really beaten broken they don't live anywhere and he starts this job and then you know they really upgrade their houses their home and they, they, they create a, a sort of like an artificial family almost like uh, one in Sims he doesn't want it she does and obviously there's a thing about marriage and you know getting married things like that so it, it was truly a, a really perfect setting and location I have to admit but yeah like I mentioned before I don't really like foreign speaking films nothing to do with that but I just like to know 100% what's going on and hearing everything but it works really well in this instance um, Noriko I'm trying to just think if there's anything else she was brilliant um, the, the girl the way she portrayed sort of this hidden want to be together again I don't want to go into too many spoilers but it's just incredible it has been out a while now so maybe I should just go into spoilers but um you know Godzilla I mean wow he's just one cool hardcore motherfucker the way he's sort of back extends as he's about to you know ejaculate from his mouth all over everyone and it's like a nuclear blast it's it's truly cool as fuck you know he, he he's always shown and you know he comes on at the start in sort of like darkness you don't really see him you know you do but you know who it is you don't go oh what's that is it a fucking is it a bird is it a plane no it's fucking godzilla you know well and truly what it is but they they they, they, they sort of hide it and make it a bit almost like the emperor yeah, well not really like the emperor but you know what i mean like they keep him hidden you don't really see him until the end almost like the 2016 godzilla which which I, you know, really liked at the time. But I suppose looking back on it now, you kind of think, well, you weren't really in it too much. But that's not a problem. But I think that, that's honestly it. I just wanted to make a quick, cheeky little, you know, five-minute vid on this because it's been getting a lot of love and I noticed that the box office has significantly dipped. But it shouldn't have. You should go and see this immediately. This film is truly, truly 
truly one of the best Godzilla films and it looks incredible. Godzilla's sort of like this evil guy which I, I didn't think they were going to do and I, I was kind of all down for it, you know, I, mean, I really like Godzilla and it's hard to like him here because you see sort of through the human's perspective it's more of a human film. I think that's definitely what they went for here in terms of like look we've got loads of Godzilla now focusing on the monsters, let's do a really good, really detailed human film and I really think they smashed it out of the park in terms of like the humans are probably better, you know, more enjoyable to watch and more enjoyable to get along with than the actual Godzilla guy himself. Now, one thing I want you guys to tell me, is this part of the main universe? Because I don't think it is, is it? it I, I really don't think it is. Um, because Godzilla's a, a, a murdering psychopath who just, you know, you kind of see everyone die. There's one moment where he's walking through, like, Tokyo or something, and he steps on the ground, and, like, 50 human beings just fly into the sky. You know, not brilliant CGI, so it looks funny, but, like I said, you look past all that because it's a great film. And they, they go flying. They turn into mashed potatoes, jam on toast, you know, uh, spreaded by Godzilla's toenails. He's definitely not a good guy in this. Certainly not a good guy. But again, this is just a short little quickie. Quickie dicky for you. And uh, yeah, uh, anything else I want to add? Go see it. Seriously, go see it. If you like Godzilla, if you like big sort of kaiju stuff like that, I'd 100% recommend it. 100%. But yeah, thank you so much. I know this film's been out a while, but it's, I wanted to talk about it. Talk about it and what I thought. And once again, I'm just another person who enjoyed it. Um, do I think it's the best film of the year, though? No, I definitely don't think that. I know a lot of people have said it is. I don't think it was, personally. And that's just because people have different sort of attention spans and different. their brains think differently. To me, it was a great film, but I probably wouldn't watch it again. Simply, but not only because it's, you know, reading the subtitles but simply because I thought um, you know there's a few slow patches I like a bit more should we say maybe a shorter film but action a bit more you know sort of something like that so great film but not my film of the year what is my film of the year well I actually don't know to be honest I'd have to have a sit down and think about it maybe uh, what, a, what films have come out anyway I'll do a video on that near Christmas but yeah that was a great film thank you goodbye